Alright, so I'm digging through my videos, I recorded something, but I needed to do a voiceover, I guess. So, let's have a look. Uh, cool, here we go. Alright, so, this is me making cables. So, time on the top left, timer on the bottom. Now these cables, I guess, are my first gen. What's really, really horrible. Um, yeah, just learning how to make cables. The... The, 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 the cable wraps. Oh yeah. <laughs> Thin your pants. Rawr. I'm allowed to. <laughs> okay. So these are like my first gen. Now, if you have a look at the pins, they're kind of square shape. Now these are the wrong pins for the job. You want these ones that are kind of like what I call house shape. You know. They're even the same shape as the connectors. So you want these house shaped ones, not these square shaped ones. But anyway, back to those connectors. Um, the outside, the braiding or whatever, I used was too big. And so resulted in bad results. So anyway, my next generation, I suppose. What have I got here? Okay, SATA. Um, you can't really make SATA cables pretty. Yeah, this is an attempt. I'll do better next time. All right. Hmm. Reviewing myself. All right. So this is again. I use the are these square ones. Yeah, square connectors, and you can see them all jumbled all around and all over the place in there. It's really not good. But this one, it's for um, GPU power. And I gave it the optional, you know, 6-pin or 8-pin add-in if you need 8-pin. But yeah, this was, the cables look nice, I have to say. But I didn't do too well on the... I did heat shrink for this one. I didn't do too well on heat shrink. And yeah, these look like like my teeth. Yeah, the next one, wow, those, those ones look good. Yeah, the next ones look good. The other ones just look like busted ass teeth. Hmm, no ends yet. And I don't think I'll put ends on them. Alright, now what have I got? Oh, very nice. Now I made these, but unfortunately I ran out of the light blue, so I couldn't make a whole set. Now here, I still made a problem. So we got the female cables, and then the male cables. Now the male pins, um, I didn't heat treat them well enough, and so some didn't quite make it through all the way. And so if you go back to the Warhammer Emperor, a melting face, that's kind of what the pins look like. As you can see, I made a really good improvement. Just, you know, like, you can see the third one from the, the third one across at the top. It's not really in that well. It'll probably still make a connection, but yeah. I I wouldn't sell this. I would probably... I would give it away. <laughs> Maybe I wouldn't even give it away. I'll probably just fix it up and use it in a system and just plug and forget about it yeah one is really horrible and with these ones yeah you push them back in and then they'll just fall back out now next to it is probably one of my better ones now this is a what is this one this is a six pin cpu oh okay never mind we'll get back to that but yeah, this is just a cable extension, as you can see. You just plug one end. Brief intermission, here we go. Yeah, you can see some of the heat shrink leaking, kind of leaking out at the sides. Okay, what have I got? Oh yes, very good ones. CP... Oh, no, no. CPU or GPU? 
one or the other. Okay, these are really good. Focus, focus, focus. Mm -hmm. You can see a little... I went a little crazy with the melting. But I guess if you bend them in a certain way, you won't see it. Or just whenever you finish with it, when you plug it all in, you can just push it through. Yep, there's another one. Two six pins. I must. Oh yeah, these are for a GPU. I made a CPU four pin. I think. Let's see. Hmm. Will this camera have autofocus? I don't know. I hope so. No, it doesn't. Okay. So for the GPU, this one. Ah, 4 plus 4. So you can use it for 4 pin CPU connector, or you can use it for 8. Yep. And that's a good connector. And you can see a little color. You can see I use some yellow and some red heat shrink. Ooh. Not really my best work. But getting better. Yeah, surprisingly I tested the cables for resistance and there wasn't really any measurable resistance, so having cable extensions doesn't really do that much. Right, and my 24 pin. Needless to say, it took a long time to do. And although not perfect, wow, that's horrible. But again, if you plug it in and then you press jam it through, then you won't see the colors. Now I have some ones that I made without heat shrink. I wonder if I show them in this video. Oh, no. Is this one it? Uh, maybe not. Those pins don't look all the way in. Hmm. Nah, that's not with heat. Oh. Do I have those cables here? No, I don't. Oh, I got one here. I made a battery. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that. Camera's not really good. It's made without heat shrink. Ah, these ones must be made without heat shrink. Very, very clean, actually. Yep. The right size wrap, the right... Um, Connectors. All right. Well, I guess that's it. Oh no, that's me testing it. And a benchmark. And I guess I was testing voltage drop. In my little noticeable voltage drop, and my stability issues on the CPU and GPU. Oh, this was in like summer, 32 degree room temperature. Alright, um, this one. So I hope you like this video. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below. And making cables is easy. Just make sure you have all the right tools. See you.